carpoolers, Corduroy Paco coming to you from somewhere in northern Ontario riding the rails. Yes kids, I'm on the train. Want me to prove it? Whoa. Now that is northern Ontario. Rocks and trees and snow. See now when we left Toronto I was wearing like a light flannel shirt and that's all I had. And it was awesome. And then while we were loading up everything, I realized, like, I don't really have room for my coat. And really, how often will I need my coat? You know what I mean? You don't really need your coat. So I didn't bring my coat. I didn't bring a coat. I brought layers. Flannel, hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, you know, those kind of things. But then when I woke up and I opened up my blinds and I thought to myself, holy cow, it is really still winter here. I hope I don't have to be outside very long because I don't have a coat. Brilliant on my part. But, forget all that, I think I should give you a tour of my room, preferably with a wider angle. Ta-da! So, the coolest thing about this is, we each got our own room, and that is awesome. So here's mine, let's have a look, <laughs> shall we? Okay, so, right now, this area, this is where the bed goes. This is where the bed is. I sleep on this, but not when it's like this. I sleep on it when it comes down because these two seats fold down, get low or something. I don't really know how it works, but they go under the bed. I'll show you that later, I'm sure, once it comes back down. See, I can't do it myself. The guy who works here, he does it, so you know, what are you gonna do? Right here, this is the, uh, I don't know, the kitchen or bathroom. Maybe both, I don't know. But see, the weird thing is, if you stand like right here, I don't know if it's gonna work for you, really, but you just get like surrounded by yourself. And it's like, whoa, that's weird. There's a whole bunch of me. I think actually I better, I better stop. Let's just stop this right now. It's getting a little inappropriate. My closet is right here. I could fit up to four things. A little safe here to keep things safe, I guess. And then I got my little fan here. Oh, you feel that on your face? How does that feel? It feels nice, doesn't it? So, you see another hanger. I'm gonna hang some of my little Dixie cups. Oh my goodness. They just think of everything. Like earlier today, I was like, I, just, I was brushing my teeth. And I was like, man, I just wish I had some paper towels or something. I just wish I put my hand up like this and lo and behold, paper towel. More little storage up here. Here's a little shelf that I didn't understand what it was for and why it was up there. But it's because this here is the other bed. The train is alive with the sound of Paco. I am so dizzy after doing that. I won't, I won't even lie. The moving train doesn't help anything. Most amazing thing of all, my own bathroom. So then we got this. See, look at that. See, I didn't even know that was there, actually. So here's where uh, the party starts here, or ends, I guess. No water in there, which makes, that's weird, isn't it? No water in there. I know it's not weird for a train to not, but just in general, no water in the toilets. Like, it's nerd. Flirt. I've only numero uno in here so far. No dose. But dose is probably gonna happen one of these days. I can't go the whole 25 days without dosing. Yeah, so there you go. That's um, that's where I'm living for the next few days and then more days after that as we drive home or travel home, I guess. It's definitely neat. Like, you don't really notice that you're just moving all the time. Maybe I'm just used to it by now. I don't know. It's just pretty. Pretty cool in general. I'm pretty stoked to be here and stoked to bring you guys with me and uh, stoked for everything. So there it is. That's what's going on so far. Peace out. Talk to you soon. Cut. <laughs>